hi viewers and students as the part of discussion in the chapter set today let us discuss uh, a new concept in the set that is the cardinality of the set or the cardinal number of the set take heading the cardinality of the set or the cardinal number of the set as shown on the screen see children what is the cardinal number of the set the number of elements in the set is called the cardinal number of the set once again see children the number of elements in the set is called the cardinal number of the set see it clearly number of elements in the set means when we count the elements in the set the number we get is called the number of elements of that set that number is called the cardinal number of the set suppose you see children a is a set the number of elements in the set a is called the cardinal number of that set the cardinal number of set a is denoted by n of a as shown on the screen we read it as n of a sometimes we read as number of a number of elements in set a we can read like that also n of a means number of elements in set a that is the cardinal number of set a cardinal number of set b is denoted by n of b n of b means number of elements in set b that is what cardinal number is now let us understand the cardinal number of the set by an example we can get clarity after observation of the example see children let us take a set the name of the set is a the elements of the set a are p q r s t these are the elements of set a what is the cardinal number of set a or what is n of a see children this is the question already we discussed the cardinal number of the set means number of elements in the set is called a cardinal number of the set see children a is equal to p q r s t these are the elements of set a now we would like to count the elements in set a try to count the elements in set a p q r s t 1 2 3 4 5 how many elements are in set a p is one element q is another element r is another element s is also an element t is also an element totally set a consists of five elements the number of elements in set a is 5 children try to say what is the cardinal number of set a very good cardinal number of set a is 5 as we discussed cardinal number of set a is denoted by n of a so we write n of a is equal to 5 this is the cardinal number of set a okay let us understand uh, the concept of uh, cardinal number of a set by another example see children we take a set p is equal to x such that x is a prime number and x less than 90 find the cardinal number of set p so the question you can see the same question on the screen see children here the question is given in set builder form we have to convert uh, the set builder form into roster form before solving the question see the question p is equal to x such that x is a prime number and x less than 90 here x means what x is the element of set p all the elements of set p are denoted by x such that how x is and what x what x here children prime number can we take all the prime numbers here no why here the condition given that x should be less than 19 
so we take the prime number which are less than 19 only okay before writing the set into roster form let us recall what is a prime number very good anybody of you say prime number prime number means the number which is exactly divisible by one and itself only is called prime number so the prime number has only two factors that are one and itself prime number cannot be divisible by another number other than one and itself so already you knew what are the prime numbers okay try to say the prime number children 2 what prime numbers needed here the prime number which are less than 19 Okay, three children, two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen. Can we take nineteen here? No. The prime numbers which are less than nineteen should be taken here as per the condition given in the set builder form. If the condition is x less than or equal nineteen, we can take nineteen also as the element of set P. So here the elements of set P are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 and 17. These are the elements of set P. Now try to count. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17. How many elements are in the set P? Exactly 7. So cardinal number of set P is 7. Cardinal number of set P is denoted by n of P. So we write n of P is equal to 7. This is about the cardinal number. Okay, children. Now let us take one more concept in the sets that is finite and infinite sets. Take heading as shown on the screen finite and infinite set. First, let us discuss finite set. Finite means it is possible to count, then it is called finite. Now see finite set. If it is possible to find the number of elements in a set, the set is called finite set. Okay. In other words, if we count and say the number of elements in the set, the set is said to be finite set. That is the definition of finite set. If it is possible to count the number of elements in a set, that is called finite set. Now, let us understand the concept of finite set by some examples. Take a set B. B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the set B. How many elements are in the set? exactly we can say here are five elements in the set so here it is possible to count the number of elements in the set b so b is the finite set and let us take one more example set of days in a week is it a finite set Okay, very good. When we try to form a set with the days in a week, we get 7 days. That are clearly Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Here it is possible to count the days in a week that is 7. So, we counted the number of elements in the set set of days in a week so set of days in a week is a finite set let us take another example to understand the same concept 
a is equal to one set a is equal to x such that x belongs to n and x square is equal to 4 this is the set given in set builder form here the all the elements of the set are denoted by x and x should be a natural number and it should satisfy the condition x square is equal to 4 children say the values of x which satisfies x square is equal to 4 values of x should be natural numbers anybody of you say what number satisfy x square is equal to 4 clearly 2 in place of x you take uh, or you substitute 2 you get 2 square that is equal to 4 it is satisfying so 2 is the element of the set can we take uh, minus 2 here minus 2 whole square this is also 4 minus 2 is also satisfying uh, x square is equal to 4 can we take minus 2 as the element of the set no here the condition is x belongs to n x should be a natural number minus 2 is not in the natural number so here is uh, only one element that is 2 so we can take 2 as the element of this set say children is it a finite set what is the definition of finite set if it is possible to count the number of elements in a set that is the finite set now you try to count the elements in the set 2 that means only one element is here it is possible and we counted the number of elements in the set is 1 so it is the finite set these are the examples for finite set we can take uh, so many examples for finite uh, sets now the next thing is infinite set see children what is infinite set very good if it is not possible to count the number of elements in the set the set is called as infinite set the number of elements in the set cannot be determined then the set is called infinite set let us understand infinite set with uh, some example see children one example let us take set of natural numbers what are the natural numbers natural number set is denoted by n n is called to be right 1 2 3 4 5 6 dash 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 how many natural numbers are here can we count the, the total natural numbers no it is infinite set we cannot count the number of elements in the set of natural numbers so it is the infinite set we can take so many examples set of multiples of 4 what are the multiples of 4 4 1 are 4 4 is the multiple of 4 4 to 8 8 is the multiple 12 is the multiple 16 is the multiple 20 is the multiple dash 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 how many elements are in the set that is set of multiples of 4 we cannot count it has infinite number of elements it is not possible to count the number of elements in this set so this is the infinite set let us take one more example okay the lines set of lines which are parallel to x axis see children let us imagine coordinate plane and uh, x axis and y axis try to draw parallel lines to x axis this is the x axis you think i draw one line to parallel to x axis and i draw another line this is also parallel to x axis how many lines like that you can draw which are parallel to x axis we can draw infinite number of lines as they are parallel to x axis if we try to write the elements in the given set set of lines which are parallel to x axis we get infinite number of elements infinite number of lines so 
it is not possible to find or count the number of elements in this set exactly so it is the infinite set one more example let us take set of line which passes through the given point how many lines you can draw passing through the given point let us take one point on the plane how many lines can you draw passing through the given point that point say children how many lines can you draw passing through the given point infinite lines we can draw so many so many infinite lines as they pass through the given point so we cannot find the number of lines which passes through the given point it has infinite number of elements so it is also a infinite set these are some examples for infinite sets now let us try to solve the think discuss question which is before exercise 2.4 the question is an empty set is a finite set is this statement true or false why the same question you can see on the screen the question is an empty set is a finite set is this statement true or false why see children let us try to recall the definition of finite set and infinite set see children if it is possible to count the number of elements in a set that is finite set if it is not possible to count the number of elements in a set that is infinite set now we discuss the question let us take the an empty set let us take an empty set empty set means it is denoted by phi and uh, we can denote uh, it by curly bracket without uh, taking any elements how many elements does an empty set consist of empty set means the set which has no elements so anybody of you say the number of elements in empty set very good there are no elements means the number of elements in the empty set is g the number of elements in the empty set phi denoted by n of phi so we write n of phi is equal to 0 here it is possible it became possible to count the number of elements in empty set the number of elements in empty set is 0 so this is the finite set as we counted the number of elements and we said the number of elements in an empty set is 0 so it is a finite set it is possible to count the number of elements in an empty set that is 0 therefore the empty set is finite set